So I'm a designer in an architecture firm here in Seattle. I've gotten to work on quite a few projects, civic, corporate, nonprofit, and it's really exciting to see something that you've worked on for months or even years get built. Um, and so I've also done a lot of art installations on the side. Um, this was a surrealist sculptural installation I did with a friend with these glowing clouds, and there's projections and light and sound, but you're walking around eating sticks of glowing cotton candy. <laughs> it's like this brief, beautiful distraction just for one night. But I'm actually not going to talk about any of my built environment work or art installations or music or my band or anything like that. I'm actually just going to talk about my weird side projects. So for example, back in May 2016, I learned about this. Google is feeding romance novels to its AI engine to make its products more conversational. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting, and I don't like romance novels, but I really like food. So, so I wrote this thing called Food Romance Bot. It's a Twitter bot that auto-generates food-themed romance novel excerpts. <laughs> Usually like once a day around lunchtime. So for example, uh, one such tweet that would pop out would be, hello, he said in a voice thick as pumpkin pie filling, you may call me Herb. He was the most gorgeous man she had ever seen. <laughs> or. Uh, she met his bean brown eyes with her own, leaning to his brown sugar caress. It's always been you, he said gingerly. Um, these postcards are for people like me who mess up sometimes and you want to apologize, but you don't know how and your heart's in the right place, but you need some help. Um, so there's a how-to on the back. So it says, dear name of wronged, I'm sorry that I did this thing. It happened because lame excuse I'd like to make it up to you by attempt at reconciliation. Again, I'm honest adverb, sorry, and I hope in the future we can checkbox. Be lovers, be friends, say hello in passing or other. Sincerely, sorry person. I sell them in bulk by popular request. They seem to work. Um, these are misfortune cookies. They have unfortunate sayings on them. I think they're funny, but I, don't, I know not everyone would feel that way, so I never hand them out unawares, and I always use a disclaimer. <laughs> don't take one if you're allergic to eggs or self-reflection. <laughs> they're not all sad, they're not all sad. Um, so I've done this series of street signs hidden around Seattle as well. I think delight is that intersection of positive and unexpected. And I like hiding these around the city because I think this is something delightful you would want to stumble across. So. <laughs> so I have all of these projects and more on my real website, weirdsideprojects.com, very easy to remember. Um, and it used to be completely anonymous. Um, I started it back in late 2015. So going into why, like what's the point of all these, right? Like, why, why would I make them? And why would I keep on making them? Um, so I'm primarily like a visual person. And making art with my hands helps me process my day to day. So like, it helps me think and reflect and remember and observe. And so this is my usual form. But I knew I couldn't just like stay here, right? Like I wanted to get out of that. And so the thing about side projects is no one is expecting anything. They can be terrible. You can just do them really fast. You can just try new mediums. Like, and if they're bad, no one cares. No one's like, oh, didn't you study this for you know, your degree or something? Uh, <laughs> so, so these are awkward conversation hearts. They're for when you think someone's pretty cool, but you don't know how to tell them. And so the thing is, honestly, I don't really like words. They're my least comfortable medium. But turns out most people use them to communicate. <laughs> and so I made a lot of these projects to deal with when something wasn't quite right. Um, when I was feeling anything from just like a little bit bored to completely devastated. And I'm trying to use these projects to be a better human being by using art to address my actions and emotions and mistakes. Because if I could say it properly with words to your face, I wouldn't have to say it with art. Thank you. <laughs>